Hello everyone, José Nunes here, how are you guys? Okay, so this is a short tutorial here about the uh, black screen of death. <laughs> okay, so this is the name that has been given by uh, a search that I found after doing a search on the internet, they call it a, a virus, but there is no explanation for it. There's many ways why this can happen. can be programs, uploads, downloads, whatever you do in your computer. Okay, one of the... the the symptoms that you can look for if is your computer is infected, if it hasn't been infected yet. The only way you find out is when you actually restart your machine. And when after you restart, that's what you get. So you get a screen exactly like this one. Black, okay, and your CPU, you don't get the CPU, all this disappears. All you get is absolute black screen either either in the taskbar showing below and nothing else. All your icons disappear and so you restart the machine. Now in my case, what happened is I actually had the black screen, I restarted the machine and managed to get it back, back working. And basically all I did to fix it, so I'm just going to change the color here. Okay, all I did to fix it after I restart the machine is you go to start and you type in so basically just type in that as I type it okay click enter this will pop up okay click continue and once you're here actually still well I left basically let me just go back to it All you do, okay, this is what you get when you type that. Okay, then the next step is to choose local machine, click on arrow, and then basically follow the arrows and go to software. Basically follow the arrows again, and this time we're gonna look for Microsoft. And it is already open here for me because I just did this. So you click on Microsoft and Arrow again and follow the arrows, not the line, the arrows. And the next one we're going to look for is the Windows NT. There it is, so my is open again. So click on the Windows NT, follow the arrows again. And the next one we're gonna look for is we log on. It should be. It is open here for me again because I just did it. We log on. Okay, select we log on. And we're gonna select shell. Double click it. And all you have to do is type in explorer.exe. Okay, and click OK. Okay, that's all you have to do. Okay, and all, all what we will notice is all your icons will back up, everything turns up as normal. Uh, restart your machine, just to make sure everything is nice and clean. And your CPU actually goes crazy when this happens, okay? Your CPU doesn't stay like that, it just goes back and forward if you go the side by showing. This is what happened. So, my is pretty stable, but before this, it's just going back and forwards even if I leave the computer at the moment I'm not touching any computer and you can see it's 20% so it's pretty steady now okay so this is what they call the black screen of death this is how you solve it okay another way to solve it is if you haven't been affected yet but if you notice your machine is actually going slow the files are becoming orphanated then you may have been infected okay and the best thing for you to do is just go to your favorite uh, internet browser Okay, and type in black screen of dead, you see there. Once you type that in, there is a website which I think if I type just black screen. This this website here, Prevex, whatever that name is. And they got a piece of software there that you can download, install it. 
run it so after you run the software it will ask you to restart the machine and once you restart the machine it's problem fixed okay so there it goes so it's nothing really to worry about it but if it does happen to you if you don't know how to solve it this can cost you a couple hundred so here is how to solve it so thank you very much for watching my name is Zenon bye bye